So they're really good at this. A lot of other ants would like a lot of water would just drown. Oh wow, that's so cool. <laughs> to see the real danger of fire ants, we moved to the end room to see some actual demonstration. Each of these colorful buckets you see here can have thousands of fire ants living inside. But they climb up and start attacking. So like in Taiwan, a lot of, a lot of farmers get stings that's because of when they are uh, walking inside their farm. Right. So in the beginning on the surface, it might, it might, it might not be well, you really see, they, they, they really, really just climb up. But it's fast enough already. Yeah, it's like two or three seconds. But if you yeah. are like attacking or stepping inside their nest, and they are really nervous and angry, in anger, you can see how fast this is. Whoa, okay. That's like less than five seconds will be all over your boots, like, or your shoes, right? That's crazy. You do not want to step. You you do not want to step on one of these things in the wild, for sure. To truly understand just how these ants have caused so much damage, I've decided to let a couple fire ants to sting my arm. All right, wish me luck. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay. 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 Wait. 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 I'm. I'm good. I'm good. Let. Let. let, let, let let's see. It's uh, definitely stingy. Ooh, okay. It's def ooh, definitely stings. It bites and then stings. Okay, it, it, one is okay, but if there's hundreds of these guys just climbing up your legs, they can definitely do some damage. Okay, let's take it away. It stung me like three, four times. Mm -hmm. Those who have been stung by fire ants have described it as having their limb put in a ring of fire. With just a couple sting on my arm, I can already feel the burning sensation. Oh, see here, I'm a little bit red. You see the white cut? That's where oh. And then so they stung through the gloves. That's right. Yeah. Wow. So we often That's do crazy. two gloves. They've evolved another incredible power: the ability to survive floods. This ability that when there's lots of water coming, uh -huh. they kind of form this big ball. They bring in all their eggs and all their all their little babies. They put in the big ball and they're kind of in the middle. And the queen's kind of protected in the middle. So they're really good at this. A lot of other ants would like a lot of water would just drown. Oh wow, that's so cool. <laughs> when water comes, they will start interlocking their bodies to each other to form a floating device, almost like an emergency lifeboat. And they are able to flow on top of water because when they hold tightly to each other like this, they trap tiny little water bubbles between them, creating many air pockets, as well as help them to float and to breathe. And I was stung by maybe a couple of them in a control setting. Imagine if you accidentally step on their ant mounts and 50 of them climb up and sting you at the same time. They can really do some damage. On the second day is when it really gets itchy, and one of the stings turned into a posture. It makes you really want to scratch it, but you know you shouldn't. If you see a warning sign put up at the Fire Ant Bureau in the future, really stay away from it.